welcome to Cooking with Miss O. Let's join Mary Beth Oxendine in the kitchen as she teaches you how to cook Southern style Welcome healthy. Welcome to Cooking with Miss O. We're so glad y'all are watching today. And this is another one of our Springer Mountain cooking shows with Gus Arendale. And um, today my verse is Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart does good as medicine. And that is really true. I've read so many studies, mm -hmm. Gus, about how stress and um, anger, bitterness, yes. causes real physical problems. So, you know, if you... Say, but you don't know what I'm dealing with. Well, everybody deals with something. Your that, family that, has, right, my right, family has, right. everybody has. So you have to make that purposeful choice. Yes, and you need to remember also that somebody else's problems are just as big or bigger to them right. as, as your problems That's are. Right. I mean, you know, like uh, if... <laughs> To, to some lady or something like that, getting a snag in her sweater can be as, as, as bad yeah. as, as, as me getting a, a bad flock of chickens or something like That's that. And I'm stressed out, but it bothers them that much. Everybody's got their own problems, and don't complain about them until you walk in their shoes. That's exactly and, right. And that is right. But yeah. stress does make you bitter. Uh, it, it, it works on you. It makes you unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why at Springer Mountain Farms, our, we're certified by the American Humane Association that we're good to our chickens and they don't right. have any stress. They've got, more, they've got more room to roam in, makes mm -hmm. them less uh, stressful. They get a better diet. They get a healthier diet. Than right. uh, the other chickens, and, and, it, and it works. It's well, just it like helps people. us because when we have chickens, out, and I know I got a call from a lady in North Carolina that said she and her family years ago quit eating chicken because of the smell and because of the taste, and they mm -hmm. thought that's just how chicken did. And then they saw me talking about Spoon Mountain and showing the broth and everything like that. And so now they have tried your chicken, and they, they can't believe that chicken has no smell like that they have smelled and that it tastes so good. The other thing is, when you eat Springer Mountain chicken, and I'm just real honest with y'all, it doesn't swell your belly after you eat it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it but it's all belly. those antibiotics that make kids' belly swell up it, it, and it, it causes... And Springer Mountain gets no antibiotics and it's an all vegetable diet. And uh, I, I can't relate to you about how many letters that I get of people saying, I tried your chicken and I'll never go and eat another oh, chicken. I, yes. I get them, I get them every day. And I'm I so proud of that. In fact, and I'm getting calls well, and you. I'm getting stopped. Thank and you. I just wish I'm really disappointed that the grocery stores, all of the grocery stores, because I've been watching, they have smaller amounts of your chicken than any of the rest. But if we as consumers um, tell them, we don't want this anymore, it's making our kids sick and it's very dangerous for us and our kids. And I said, so one way that I can help, because this is really what this show is about, teaching people where they can get good, healthy food for their kids and for them. Um, we have on our website, you can go to it, and um, it's Mary Best Kitchen at G at dot com, mm -hmm. and then it's um, Cooking with Miss O M I S S, and you, those are connected, and you can go to either one of those. But we're going to have a printout. We have a printout thing from Springer Mountain that we asked them for, and it tells you can take it, you fill it out with your name and address, and you can take it to Ingalls, Bilo, Publix, wherever you want to go. Um, I, I shop at Ingalls. That's the only place we even have a new Publix. Uh, and it's nice, but I love my Ingalls store because they were so good to me when my daughter was so sick. And they were the first to have organics and the first to have the best stuff. So I want to be faithful to them because they were so good to me. Right. Well, and thank so, you. You can go to your website and you can get an order form and take it to your grocery right. store and say, I would like to see this, this, this part of Springer Mountain Farms, whether it be Whole Birds, whether it be... Uh, uh, tenders, whether it be boneless, skinless, thighs, whatever, and say, I would like to have this 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 portion of Springer Mountain Farms chicken, please put it in. And, and if you don't have Springer Mountain, I've gotten some calls from North Carolina and Thomasville and High Point, different places like that, and they, their Ingle stores don't have Springer Mountain and they want to shop there because I've been talking about it. So give the same thing to those men because Ingle's and my store carries Springer Mountain and other Ingle stores that I've been to yes. and Greenville carries Springer as, Mountain. As so, we say, if they don't have it, please ask for it. Yes, that's right. Now, my favorite is the tenders and we're going to be doing a it freezer is. meal. What, 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 you, what you cooking today? Um, freezer maybe? meal. And it's the meal that we did, you and I, um, a couple okay, of okay. Saturdays ago where we had the chicken nuggets and we made it and we put that bag of freezer uh, chicken nuggets up and now I think that it still must be in the fridge right here. Let me check. Okay. I hope so. Right here in the freezer. I'm gonna be cooking. Here it is. We've taken it down to thaw. Okay. And so this is all we're gonna do. Gus, I want you to dump this in here. This is one of my family's favorite recipes. And um, I can, I can, I can do this. All right. And okay. uh, I would like to say, if you saw the show a couple of weeks ago, or just spread it, when, them out for me, when please, it was Gus. on, 
Mary Beth made these chicken nuts with her homemade bread that she ground up and just took Springer Mountain Farms tenders, or you could take breast and make them into, into squares for the nuggets, and then put them in a bag with her bread crumbs that she crumbled up and shook them up very, very good, and, uh, and, and it makes the prettiest, prettiest nugget. If they weren't a little frozen, I'd eat one right now. <laughs> Might and be a little Gus, crunchy. I think would we're going to warm it up would a you, bit. I'm going to give you the mushrooms, and you just push them around there. Okay. I'm doing fresh mushrooms. You don't have to do that, but I was going to show a can, too. I've always bought the Jolly Green Giant ones. I will not be buying them anymore. Why, I went into it? Ingles. says it's China, and I'm not buying anything outside of this country if I can help it because of you, their you practices. Don't, you don't know if it's as safe or not. I, we I don't. I know. That. I know that, and that's what scares me. And so we've already seen in the news where people thought they were buying something that was farm to table and, yes, and it was actually, not, yes, yeah, and yes, it wasn't. You, you got so, to, you now, got Gus, to I want to teach you how to cut a mushroom. You want to take some of this part off right here, if you have any of that, because okay. that just makes it a little harder. And then you just slice it like okay. you would a tomato. You can do either side you want. There you go. You okay. wash them lightly because once you get them wet, they kind of turn brown. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you don't want that. Doing great. You can turn it now and do it that way. And you're going to put mushrooms. Yes. And, and we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab the cheese while you're cutting the mushrooms, right. if that's all right. And then I do Cracker Barrel um, cheddar cheese. I get all this stuff at my angle store. Yes. Now, I would like to. That's a pretty pretty unique shredder. That, that this is, have. this sell, is, sell the spread. this is Tupperware. I love Tupperware and Pampered Chef. That's my two places. And you can just take it off. And it, it's easy to clean. Ladies, if you had, like when I was growing up, they had the metal ones, it scuffed up your knuckles all the time when you tried to go in and clean it. But this has measurements on the side, Gus. Look at this. So I can do two cups, one cup, and it's all right there for me. That Isn't is, that awesome? That, that, that is very I handy. love it. And it's very easy to clean. Very handy. Here we go. Now, we're going to do two cups of this and put this on top of the mushrooms then. The mushrooms are going on top of the chicken nuggets. This is called chicken Italian. Chicken Italian. In which it really, when I first heard it, I thought, well, where's the tomato sauce? <laughs> that, it doesn't have that. Where are the noodles? That's right. It doesn't have that either. But it's really good. I think this is probably one of my favorite meals. Okay, I'm at two cups now. And... That's probably enough, did, Gus, don't you think? It? I think. Do one more. I, I like mushrooms. Let's do, do one more. Let's do some more. Let's do one more. You know, I, I'm real proud of the fact that Mary Beth knew of Springer Mountain Farms uh, years before we ever got together. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, she got with us and called and said, you got the best chicken that there is on the market. It runs clear. The broth runs clear. It's not as greasy. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? I said, well, we feed it a healthier diet is what we do, and, uh, which we do, mm -hmm. and it really makes a difference. And I think that uh, you'll agree that with me that if you'll buy and try Springer Mountain Farmer's chicken, you will you'll not never eat, go back. You'll never eat another chicken. Actually, I'll tell you a story on my husband, if you don't mind. My husband was an economics teacher and a great one, and um, he said, Mary, I know that you don't want to buy this other brand chicken because you say it's not healthy and all, but he said they're on sale. Would you please get it? So I wanted to honor my husband because, you know, in Proverbs 31, it tells us, Gus, to do him good and not evil. So I didn't, I didn't talk about him behind his back. I didn't get mad. I bought the chicken because it was cheaper. And, um, and it was, um, he came home that night and he said, what is that smell in the kitchen? What are y'all doing? And my daughter said, is that chicken you told Mama to buy? <laughs> and he said, Mary, it's, it's spoiled. I said, no, Tom, that's the way this chicken always is because it has so much chemicals in it. it, it, it yes, and, um, and so we ate it, of course. He said, this, this, this tastes terrible. And uh, he said, that was such a waste. I said, sometimes, Tom, saving money is yes. when you buy the best product and not necessarily, you know, the, you want to do that? You want to sure. do the rest? Um, 
Sometimes yes, it's, and the, he agreed with The cheapest with is not necessarily always the best. No. It's not. And we want to get good prices. So let me tell you how you can do that. All you have to do, their phone number is going to be, is on our website. And you can just call them. They will send you coupons. And that's how I do it. They send yeah. you coupons. And or then you I. Can, you can email us. We'll yes, send you that's coupons. right. You call can email. Us, email I forgot. Us. I'm not an emailer, so I forget that. Yeah, Thank you, right. Gus. Okay. So anyway, here's some more you want to take some of yes. that off. And that's not the part that'll cut you, so it's okay, okay to put your finger on. No. Right. Mm -mm. And if you get cut, I'll, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just well, it's so. going to ruin our meal if I do. I'm going to be real careful. That's right. We're hungry. Okay, now, All Gus, right. we're going to have to put this in the oven. But before we do, I want to quickly. This is Spare Mountain Chicken Broth. Now, I have cooked this with garlic. I've cooked it with chicken, and I put it in my freezer, and it's thawed out. It That's your broth. You don't realize that. Y'all didn't know that when I came to visit you, <laughs> no, did you? No. No. So now we pour that over this, and it's got a great smell. It. It's it does it. Is it Most times you have chicken broth. It's a little got bit of garlic. Yellow, yellow fat tinge to it. It's, it's, ah, it's that, not that the fat. So I don't think it's the fat that's yellow. I think it's the chemicals in those chickens. That's what I think. Now let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you something that you're gonna say. Oh, I can't believe she said that. And maybe I shouldn't say this. And guess you're just gonna die. And the camera people over there are gonna shake their head and say, Oh, I can't believe you said that. When you go to the bathroom and you smell chemicals. You're eating foods with chemicals in it. Yes. When you go to the bathroom and you've eaten like this, you have no smell to your bathroom. You don't need really? deodorant this because is it does. This a cooking show. I know, and I okay. shouldn't be saying that, but <laughs> it's true. So when you yeah. eat right, those chemicals go out all parts of your body. And when they you don't, if you have feet that stink, if you have underarm problems, um, and when you go on these, like your chicken and stuff, mm -hmm. you don't have those problems anymore. They totally go away. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. No, I haven't worn deodorant in probably 20 years. I don't need it. And my husband had problems with his feet stinking. And once we started eating like this, in two weeks, he never had that problem again. Too so much like information. This. Sorry. But <laughs> this is what chemicals do to you. If it comes out of your body like that, then it, what is it doing inside your body? And that's why you want to eat like this. Well, Just you so are in the know. And sorry. cooking with Miss O is in the know. They and are. we are They're going to a commercial stuff. break right now while I stick this in the oven. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Welcome back, y'all. We're going to do vegetables now, Gus. All right. With this meal, I like to do fresh broccoli. This is organic broccoli that I got at my Angles produce okay. part. And, um, and I always read to check to make sure it's American produce. I don't buy anything that's not American produce. Yes, and, and okay. they, they, they mark on, the, on, your, on your label that it is American produce. That's right. They do. And they're good about that. I think all the stores have to now, don't they? Now I'm going to show you what I do real quick here. I take off that real hard part. Then I just start tearing those off, go down a little further, and then you have the little stems. And then when I get here, I do that. And then I cut that part off. And then you can tear those apart. And we're going to put this in this right. pan with a little bit of water here. And we'll just steam it. Here we go. All right, do I, do I need to do another one? Yeah, we could. Let me see here. Just you know, Mary around. Beth, you're, you are just the cleanest cooker. And when I say by that, I'm not talking as in, as in keeping your kitchen clean, but you do that too. But you're, you're a great clean cooker on clean food and what is good for you and no chemicals. Yeah, and you And it makes a big better. difference. In your life. It does. It does. It really, it really does. does. You sleep better. Yes. Um, my children and I are all allergic to um, a chemical called phenothiazine, so we can't take antidepressants and we can't, they can't have fenugreen if they have a virus or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So when we have all, all of that and can't do any of that. You know, um, just, just mentioning uh, for your audience out there, I'm sure that, that they'd be real proud uh, here that there's a grandson on the way. Yes, there he is. Yeah. December 31st. December 31st. Yes, and I have a wedding. What a great New Year's, New it Year's is. Day. And I yes. have a wedding with my daughter. That's my son and his wife, uh -huh. um, Alicia and Josh. And then my daughter, Kevin and Marie, are getting married October 19th. Congratulations. Yes, I'm excited. That'll be a big day. Yes, it will. And I'm really excited about it. I hope you're going to cook for them. <laughs> I, I think that at the wedding uh -huh. thing, they're going to have my pimento cheese on the table, but they didn't want me cooking because they want me playing with them. Okay. So, because we're going to do it at the beach where we used to vacation as a family. Oh, fun. Isn't that sweet? That's fun. Yes, it is what fun. What beach? 
Edisto. Have you ever been there? No, never it's heard. It's beautiful. Ed Edisto down. It's between Charleston and Hilton Head. And yeah. it's just a quiet little family place. Okay. And it's economically feasible because there's not a lot of stuff you spend money on. You just play at the beach. There's one pizza place, one ice cream place that closes down at 8. It's wonderful. Okay. It's really sweet. Well, if y'all have so. chicken, I hope you spring them out and farm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I think they carry that down there. They do. They, that's what I thought. We have one little grocery store, and it's just precious, and the people are precious, and it's beautiful. Now, that's how I'm cutting that, okay. and we're going to do a tomato cucumber salad. And um, I tell you what, why you don't you finish that, would you? That? And then would you go back over it and make yes, smaller pieces, and then okay. just put it in here, Gus. And then... Um, okay, we're going to put it in the bowl, correct? Yes, we okay. are. Now, the salad dressing that I made on the other show for the chicken tenders... Mm -hmm. Um, without the honey, just the salad dressing. It's the good seasonings that I use. And I use that oil and vinegar. Well, I have this in my little jar, and this is what we pour over the tomato salad. This was my grandmother's recipe from Germany. She didn't use good seasonings. They didn't have it back then. Mm -hmm. But she used oil and vinegar, and she used olive oil, and she used the good vinegar. And then she'd put a little bit of sugar, and she'd put onions. She didn't put cucumbers in it. But cucumbers are one of the most, and I'll have that up on the website, have some of the most wonderful nutrients that people don't even realize. So you should eat cucumbers a whole lot. Raw. Raw. Raw, raw anything. As much raw as you can as eat. As much raw as you can eat. Yes, that's right. yes. And yeah, when you, when, you, when you cook it, any of your vegetables, it takes a little bit out, doesn't it? It does. It really does. And what you want is the vegetable as fresh as you can do it. Now, I've got my back, and I shouldn't do this, but I'm peeling this here, and I peel it in my sink. Then I don't have such a mess, Gus. While you're chopping there, why don't you talk to them, Gus? Well, I'm just going to tell you, as I've said before, that uh, we got with Mary Beth because of her clean cooking, her no chemicals that she uses, and her great outlook on life, which she does. And if you've got a good outlook on life, you'll, you'll feel better, you'll eat That's better. That's right, you do. You do, you do. you'll you do. eat better. Yeah. And once you get to eating better, you, you don't want to mess it up. And so you'll, you'll keep at it. I mean, it, it, that's you're, the truth. You know, you're exactly why, why right. Why go back? And you will feel better. When you, you eat better, it cuts the rate of depression, too. Yes. Okay, Gus, this yes. is what I do with this. I cut this like this. You want to cut those I can up? Do it. Boy, it smells so good, Mary Thank you. Thank you. It really does. Nothing I need like to find another fresh nut. cucumber. Isn't it wonderful? It is. I know why people put them on their eyes now, because it's close to their nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, I don't want to waste it on my eyes. I'd rather. No, eat like it, I said, so. I didn't smell it for a while and then eat it. That must be what it is. It really here. does smell good and fresh, though. It does, it smells doesn't very it? Very clean. Um, cucumbers. There's a, a sandwich spread that I do with cucumbers in it. It's so good. I'll have to do that one time for you guys. Here's a nice. Boy, I'm gonna a, start cutting with boy, you. Boy, that's a fresh cucumber. That is. Uh, again, don't make that just smell so good. Okay, let's go ahead and All put right. this here, and our broccoli's cooking. Let's slide this in here. This is a ruffle bowl from Southern Living, and Southern Living at home isn't doing it anymore. So if you ever see one of these, grab it. I have two of them. I love them. Now, I used put, them. Put out by Southern Living. Yeah, it was. And they had a great home show thing that you could get stuff that they uh -huh. used in the catalog and I love this bowl because it also has a picture that matches it that's how I did that I guess you want to chop it yes, I do I it will. like that and I then will. we'll put those in there and then um, because when you're doing a trifle it's a lot more cost effective because when you have the big bowls and you stick those spoons in there to dig it up half of the stuff left in the bottom yes or if you do something this way it's not as expensive and you can do this more often because otherwise that thing is big it's very expensive most time people just do it for a party or something well, you want to do sweet things like that for your family, so you can make that with um, that and do half the size, and they can eat that, and it's not too much sweets, too. It's yeah. not too much sweets. And Mary Beth, another thing that uh, I, I think is, is a great attribute of yours is you do not waste. You do not waste. You, you, mm -hmm. make, you, you, you get the most out of your food because you use it all. Yes. And, and food can get really expensive if you waste it. It, can, it can. sure can. Yes. But, but there. You do mm -hmm. not waste. Well, I try not to, but sometimes, you know, we all. But I had a grandmother that was um, European. Yes. Uh, German and Austrian. And um, she came over here at the um, early, early um, years. I think it was about 1922 or 1918 or something. And um, 
Their mother had died when they were young, and her older sister came over and brought the sisters and brothers. All but one of them got out. They had a stepmother who they loved dearly, and she became a widow because their dad died. And then she was in, she and the youngest one, they couldn't get out before Nazi Germany. So they were both in the Dachau concentration camp. Oh. And so after that, because of health problems, they, um, um, America wouldn't let the ones in like that. So mm -hmm. um, they, they never got to come to America. So my family really loved America. Now my dad's family was from Ohio and Illinois. And um, let's just put this okay. here. Salad. Okay. But my, what I was going to say, my European grandmother, she's the one. If you wasted anything, oh uh -huh. my goodness. Waste not, yeah. won't not. That's right. So it was a sin if you wasted to her. Okay. Now look at that wonderful salad we have there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? And these are Roma tomatoes, guys. My son is growing some of those this year. He has a big garden here and his wife and they can and all. I'm so proud of them. Let me cut this down. It's cooking. It is cooking, isn't it? Have I got the right one? There. And Gus, we're just going to pour a little bit on here. Would you like to do that? I sure will. Okay. And we are going to pour this on and go right to commercial break. There. There we go. Alrighty. Just pour a little bit. Let me stir this up just a yeah, tiny bit because uh, uh, I'm making a mess here. Here we go. Just put it over there. There you go. Just pour a little bit in there. Okay. We'll toss it on. Yeah, then you're going to toss this, correct? Yeah. I believe that's enough. That's probably plenty. Just set on that. Okay. And we've got to go to a commercial break. When we'll be back, we'll be ready to try this, won't we? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome back. Gus, this is our meal. This is the tomato cucumber salad, which was my grandmother's recipe, and that is in the cookbook. Here's steamed broccoli, which is great for us. And then I try not to get it too done, but I also don't want it hard either. And then we have chicken Italian, our, yes. our nugget freezer meal dish today. Right? As always, Mary Beth, it is just excellent. And as I have said before, I ask, well, Mary Beth, I, I can't keep up with her sometime. What do I do? And every one of the recipes that you cook on the show are out of your cookbook. And if yes, you go sir. to Cooking with Miss O, that's M I S S, Cooking right. with Miss O, or, or uh, Mary, Mary Best Kitchen. Mary Best Kitchen com. Dot com, you can get her cookbook. Yes, She's got you all can. the recipes. And uh, be good for you. Tastes good too. Thank you.